Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch, and today we have another humble bundle of interest to game developers, and funny enough, my first recording, for some reason, the audio didn't take, so I'm doing this one as a voiceover for the footage I already recorded, so if it seems a little weird, that is why, but anyways, this one is the Level Up 5K World Building Assets Bundle, this one comes from Decagon, Meshing Gun, and Fresh Can 3D, now one thing you're going to notice is, you see those Unity and Unreal Engine logos at the top, it should mostly just be an Unreal Engine logo, because I don't know why they have a little bit of of Unity assets in here, but it is only a very little bit. But the good news is you can get these assets out and onto other engines without that much work. So here you can see one of the assets right now. This is the Cyberpunk asset in action, and we're going to actually be able to export this one out. And you're going to see much different lighting, but here we are in the Godot game engine, same asset. So even if you're using another engine, uh, a lot of times, again, the lighting from the scenes is going to look very different, but uh, for environmental stuff, it exports really well, especially on this case. I'm using the Unreal Engine to, sorry, the uh, Unreal to Godot a commercial plugin, but you could do this uh, free versions as well. I will have uh, links down below. So if you're using a different engine other than Unreal Engine, this bundle may still be of interest to you. So here you can see modular assets that are being reused, easy to use in your particular world. Um, they brought in, when you use the Unreal to Godot plugin, they're brought in as prefabs. You can literally drag and drop and create your scenes. So you still need to have Unreal Engine to get the export out, but you can export this stuff out to other engines pretty easily. So again, back to the Unreal Engine presentation. Here is the Cyberpunk asset. Now we're moving on to, and I don't know how this is said, A-U-G-E. Og? 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 Um, this is the observatory. Now actually, I can tell you for certain we have had this particular environment pack in a previous bundle. So uh, do check to make sure that you don't already own the things you might be interested in. But you can also see it's a very high quality asset. So um, I do really like these environments. It's entirely modular again. Uh, you can see there's no exteriors, or sorry, interiors to these particular models. I thought, I, I thought there was, but apparently, no, there wasn't. So uh, this is, again, the observatory. This one is another one. It should look a little bit different. I didn't have the chance to set this up right. You're supposed to enable Niagara fluids, and you'll get even more particle systems, but you get an idea of what it looks like. This one is kind of uh, a medieval, stylized um, fantasy keep setting, um, sort of, I guess, a little bit Beauty and the Beast-est. Um, so... Uh, some nice stuff here, including a uh, photo that I fixated on for some reason. And yeah, so if you're looking for a little bit more of a fantastical environment, this is Fafnir's Keep. Going on from there, we have, this is called Cyberpunk. It's a Cyberpunk back alley, but in my opinion, it's just a back alley with some Cyberpunk signage thrown on top of it. Uh, kind of gives you like that Blade Runner slum vibe to it. Still useful for sure. It's just a little bit less on the cyberpunk than uh, the earlier cyberpunk we saw for sure. But it does have, you know, a city street environment, sort of a, a slum retro future vibe going on, I suppose you could say. And again, everything is prefab modular, so you bring things in, build your environments as you wish. So that part of it is very nice indeed. So here we got another one. This is one of the environmental packs. There's actually quite a few of these. This one is nanite and regular meshes. And it's this is for industrial or more or less the kind of stuff you'd see at a construction site. You know, cinder blocks and tarps and uh, two by fours and uh, uh, detrius. And then you got here um, a porta pot, a shipping container, uh, fuel tanks and so on, the kind of stuff that you could use to populate just about any kind of environment, really. Uh, next up, we have another environment like this. This one is, I don't remember. Okay, this one is just, oh, medieval. All right, so this is various medieval assets, things like chests and, um, you know, containers and kind of things that you might find in a medieval tavern, which, spoiler alert, may make an entry later on. So props, super useful. Uh, a lot of these things could be used, like wood, the, the wood that you see off to the side there, that would be useful in a modern day setting or if you were doing a cottage or a campground or something there. Speaking of camping, here is the tent environment. It does not look like a happy camping tent environment, more like a scientific research search area. Uh, you get an idea of what it is all about here. Let's look at the overview map for it. You can see all the various different pieces here. So again, completely modular in nature, a number of different tent setups that you can work with. You got some trees and then you've got, you know, tables full of supplies and so on. And um, another key thing here is you can get these out quite easy, especially static meshes. So you can see once again, exported using the Unreal to Godot plugin details down below. This one is, um, 
here running in Godot once again looks pretty damn good you can see that the, the texturing on the tents looks slightly different so you might have to do a little bit of tweaking to get it working correctly in your engine of choice and again always between different game engines the lighting is completely different so you're going to probably have to redo the lighting in your world but you're going to be using these mostly as modular assets not as full levels so you're going to have set up your own lighting anyways so these are just basically static meshes again very reusable in that regard so this one is a, again a scientific tent site setting here here. Uh, and then moving on to the next one, we have this, I believe, is the tavern I was just talking about. This one is uh, a medieval tavern. Uh, it's a, I guess it's called Nordic Medieval Tavern. So it's uh, uh, nord It's in, in Northern Europe, uh, kind of, what, 11th century uh, kind of set up here for a tavern. An idea of, you know, again, completely modular in nature, everything you need to create this particular environment. Again, I'm getting massive deja vu about this one, so I have a feeling this one has been in a previous bundle as well. So make sure you don't already own the assets that you are particularly interested in. So here we are looking at the bundle itself. By the way, if you do use my link to um, to buy this, it does support me. I thank you very much if you do. If you have trouble with the link, paste it into the new tab. It's block pop-up pop up blockers and uh, Humble's affiliate system fighting with each other. Hopefully they get that fixed eventually. Now here you can see $1 tier, you're getting five items there. Good buy there. Now again, once again, it's showing as being Unity and Unreal. And you can notice here, every single asset here is for Unreal Engine. I don't know why they did this. They should have just made this one an Unreal Engine asset bundle. Uh, and as you saw, it's pretty easy to get things into other engines, but you're gonna notice, look at the little logo, the bottom right corner of each individual asset, and you will see some of them have both. So we scroll down a little bit more, and you're gonna see a couple of them, and hopefully I scroll down eventually. So there, the Lighting's Volume 3, for example, is both Unity and Unreal Engine. Uh, the, the There's about, I think, five of them that are for both Unity and Unreal Engine. And at the very top here, we have the Apocalyptic Hospital for both Unity and for Unreal Engine. So if you're wondering how you redeem these, everything you buy here is redeemed on the Fab Store, except for that one asset in the middle, that Apocalyptic Hospital for Unity, that one is redeemed on the Unity Asset Store. So even the other Unity stuff is redeemed on the uh, fab marketplace by the way fab means keys one by one by one by one hopefully they have a compounded key system at some point in the future it makes redeeming these things easier so you see grand total 30 bucks for 27 assets here uh, again 26 of them are available for unreal engine and i think about four or five of them are available for unity but as you saw from a couple of the examples running in the Godot game engine you can get things out of unreal engine unreal engine is the best engine for exporting game assets so as long as you're willing to deal with the fact that you need to actually install these things into unreal engine uh you should be good to go on this one so uh a decent number of things i did probably demonstrated about a third of the environments that are available here to give you an idea of exactly what you are getting in this particular particular bundle. Okay, so that is the Level Up 5K World Building Assets Bundle by Decagon, Meshing Gun, and Fresh Can. Uh, now, do make sure that you don't already own some of the assets. They have been in previous bundles, so make sure that you're not, uh, you know, rebuying something that you already have. Um, again, it's got a nice, it's a lot of things that you world used to populate at worlds, various different worlds. Even if it's something has a cyberpunk theme, you're gonna still find things in here you could use in a modern day setting. Same with, for the most part, the medieval stuff. It could still be used in other kinds of environments. Plus, I think to a lot of Europe, medieval in architecture just looks like architecture. Uh, then we do have an, another flash sale going on right now. The sales page isn't up as I'm doing this video, so I could just show you the result. I believe it's going to be 15 bucks. I don't know how long it's going to last. Being a flash deal, these normally are like seven days, but don't quote me on that. This one's from Fast Track Tutorials. I have no experience with them, but you see here, you get a key for it. You redeem it on the Humble Keys, uh, using the Humble Key here in the store, and then everything is available from their download over here. So you see here, it's all basically character stuff, except for one thing for uh, props. So two-part courses, one one is on AAA character design, and the other one is uh, kind of a creating stylized character and advanced stylized character creation. And then in terms of how they work, you can watch them directly on their site. You see here the source files are available for download. And then you've got a variety of different uh, videos you can work with. Uh, you can download the videos. Uh, 
leave, uh, but you see here yeah, they're embedded always. at this point. You could maximize the, the window out. One thing you're gonna notice, that one was about 35 minutes in length. This one is about 35 minutes in length as well. And then you're talking about 30-ish courses in this course. So these courses are pretty large. Again, they're available, uh, you redeem them using a single key, and then you get the stuff from fast, fast Track Tutorials going forward. I have no personal experience with Fast Track Tutorials, by the way, so I can't tell you the actual quality of them, uh, but you're getting like well over 100 hours of, of training there uh, for character creation, stylized and normal, as well as one prop course. There's a couple other bundles going on as well. This one I didn't cover, the th uh, unlocking 3D modeling skills with Blender. That one is a set of video courses by Pact. Uh, press it. Actually, their video stuff tends to be really quite good. We also still have the world building bundle going on as well. Uh, we got the 2D bundle that's coming to an end. Uh, the audio arsenal bundle, I think should be over more or less by the time this video is updated. So ladies and gentlemen, that is it. Let me know what you think. Comments down below. Talk to you all later. Goodbye.